I don't buy from strangers. I buy from faces I recognize. Faces I've seen delivering real value again and again. Hi everyone. So again today we are going to create a minimalistic type of animation in After Effects. So without wasting time, let's begin. First of all, as you can see, there is this background with some shadows on it and there are these, you know, paper currency and in the center this is there and text. So we need to design this first. So to do that, first I'll hit new solid and select something off white okay hit ok now i'll bring this png okay and put it over this make it bigger okay something like this okay and we have got the shadow okay i have also got another png you can use that too okay whichever you want so i've got these images from google images just search for window shadows and you get these okay after that the next thing is the png of the paper currency so i'll just bring it over here okay hit s to make it bigger okay rotate it however you want okay then i'll head on to effects and presets and search for drop shadow put it on this zoom it in and then change the settings a bit okay now I'll add another png okay of this dollar you can just head on to google images and search for dollar pngs okay and if you want like this, then you can search for curled dollar PNGs, okay, something like that. And then you'll get these, okay. I'm just going to copy this drop shadow and paste it on my new, no? and just bring it over here. Bring my, you know, PNG. This, you know cash in a plastic bag something like this let me just rotate it okay so now let's you know write the text i don't buy okay now I'll just bring in my pen tool okay make sure this is selected tool creates mask and select this center dollar then i'm going to create something like this okay and then what i'm going to do is open this up okay head on to my mask path and click on this go ahead then again go ahead and then do the same thing till the whole thing opens up as you can see over here what is happening it is going frame by frame okay like you know a uh, lagging effect okay not smooth so to do that simply if you want to do it manually what you have to do is just make cuts on each keyframe by hitting Ctrl D. Sorry, by hitting Ctrl Shift D. Okay. And now just open the first one by hitting U and delete all the keyframes except the first. Select the second one, hit U, delete all the keyframes except the second. Select the third one, hit U, 
delete all the keyframes except the third and likewise in the fourth keep only the last keyframe now let's see the animation have we got the lagging effect or not yes hit t for position hit shift and t for opacity and click on both these keyframes go ahead okay and then again click on the keyframes now go to the first keyframe make this make go make this go down somewhere here and opacity to zero select both of these f9 and then drag this towards the left okay let's bring these further apart bring our text a bit you know, up okay now we have to just you know copy this go here and you know hit control v to paste it now we have to just shift the position this side okay Now after this frame, okay, it goes to the right. Okay, to make that first, what I'll be doing is go to new camera, new and null object. Select this toggle switches mode and <laughs> enable 3D layers for everything except the background and the you know shadow background means the shadow of the window that png now just simply go ahead and parent link the camera to the null hit p for position and go ahead go to the first key zoom this in like this okay and you get the zoom out effect f9 and then drag this closer Okay, another thing which you can do is select the dollar, hit P for position, Alt, hit Wiggle and keep it 1 comma 10. Copy this, okay, add on to bottom dollar, P for position, same thing and paste it over here. Hit P on this null. Go ahead and drag this towards the left and out of the frame. Okay, we'll head on to our next section. So now I'll be bringing in a PNG of a person. Okay, search pin for. In the, in the effects and presets tab and put it over here okay then we can head on to google images and search for cross png okay take this one put this over here okay and for the text from strangers okay Okay, now for the next scene, again this is there. Okay, so this part you can do it yourself. Arrange the PNG of the dollar, this one in the center, add some drop shadow, and then I buy. So, you know, this animation how you can do for this text animation. I think there's already a preset in build preset in After Effects. Okay, to presets and 
inside text select random fade in okay for you know this animation so it will fade in like this okay and then again to the next scene okay so now what is happening is again if you go to the next scene there are these black lines so to make that what we have to do is wait first let me you know add on to my null and, you know after this again hit on position go ahead add this here okay and just select you know please control make the stroke and just click here like this and end like this increase the stroke to somewhat like this and then make 3d and okay. hit p and decrease the opacity you know and get that stroke effect Okay, so you get this and at the intersection point you can see there is this mask. Okay, so I've also added the mask PNG which I got from Google Images. So I just have to, you know, yeah, here it is. Add this. Wait. Add this over here. Okay, hit S for scale and put it over here. Also, what we can do is again go for top shadow on this, increase the opacity, distance, okay, and then softness, okay. And let's make this two 3D. Okay, now when this comes in, so what we have to do is select this hit R for rotation tilt it bit to the right ok hit red rotation go ahead and then tilt it a bit towards the left select these at 9 camera ok and you no, know, we have to just cut this and from here we have to bring on the camera new null object connect this here and drag this all towards the right okay then zoom it in okay so you will get this zoom in effect and then you can write the text here okay as simple as that simple and this now from this side okay simple as you can see at the end it is blurring out okay simply just when it's ending hit where out to new adjustment layer then search for effect and put it on the adjustment layer and after it ends over here, just you know, hit blurriness, go ahead and make it blurry. Okay, let's zoom this in, hit F9. Okay, and from here again, just copy this and paste it. Right click, keyframe assistant, and time reverse. So it will be something like this. We have to, you know, copy these things. Hit Ctrl D, put it above everything. <laughs> Bring it forward, okay? Like here. So after this scene ends, we want it to start from here, okay? This time I'll make it minus 15 key rotation. 
take these layers put this one here change the rotation a bit and for this okay set all and like that it to cut it this here okay so like this then put it over here okay now for the second animation to click take place what we have to do is simply select our you know new null position keyframe go ahead and then track this this side okay and then towards the left also we need to delete this person png from here so let me see which one is this yeah this one so i just hit alt and right click it to cut it so go like this and then this and simply select this adjustment layer make sure some of the blurriness is there on the second frame too so i just you know bring this up yeah so to look something like this okay so this is again easy just again change the camera you know angle and then write the text and for this part i have already provided the pngs which are required okay so for the paper i have given here and for the clips i have given you this you can just put the clips and again write the text so hope you learned something new from this video see you in the next